Hello everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. This is Pie Man doing my rune level 1 playthrough. Uh, you'll notice from the last part I'm wearing armor. Um, I already got the shit off the anvil. I don't have as many runes. Uh, I just went ahead and already bought um, everything in here that I needed. Uh, but yeah. Uh, oh, I should actually get that too, because that's a better shield than my current one. Uh, but yeah, now we're gonna be continuing the game. Now that we have Torrent, we can actually get where we need to go a lot quicker. So what I want to do before we fight Margit... Um, is I want to get patches. I don't actually remember if it's possible to get patches before Margit. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know why it wouldn't be. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go get him. And maybe also the uh, Wondrous Physic Flask as well. Because that thing could be very useful as well. Hindsight, I probably could have fast traveled to one of the graces over here, so I didn't have to do all this running. But yeah, Patches is down there, I believe. Actually, maybe I'll try and get the... Well, it's going to take a minute to get to the Physic Flask, but I think it is worth it. Just because of how useful it is. Need every advantage I can get in a rune level 1 playthrough. Uh, but yeah. I don't know. How you guys doing? It's been a while since I've recorded a playthrough. I'm not entirely sh Like I said before, I'm not entirely sure how long this playthrough will go for. I would like to finish it, unlike my other ones, but, you know, life's a bitch and it doesn't always work out. I'm more doing this just to see if I can do it, because nothing's really set in stone yet. I'm not sure that I can even beat the game at rune level 1 yet, <laughs> but sure as shit I'm going to try. Kenneth Height. Kenneth Height. Sir, ah, well, that's so. Despite a yeah, this guy's a dick. I want you to night Basically gonna. My fault. Oh, fret my syllab. I'm at the promise. Tell us to go to his and to think. fort, clear it out. What my fault? Some rich bumpkin or whatever the hell. Like, oh, tarnished are you? I'm too good for the likes of you. But I tell you what, I'll make you a lord if you free my castle of those rapscallions. <laughs> yeah, no. Maybe for the loot, not for you, buddy. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't know. Hope you guys enjoy the playthrough. I'm going to enjoy making it just because I have more fun playing games when I'm recording them. But, nevertheless, I guess we'll see how far it goes. Alright, I got the Physic. And I got the first tier. And I got an upgrade for my flask. So, I'm actually going to do that right now. Um, I'm also going to see about getting... the next, um... tier for my flask. Which should be right over here by this tree. There's also an another map piece as well in the Shifra River, but... I don't know what I'm going to do with the Shifa River yet. I spent a lot of time exploring that in all of my other playthroughs, but 
I don't know how much use it has to me in this playthrough. Anyway, I think the tier is up. Oh, never mind. It's a little further. It's a little further. Oh, shit. That is a fast bear. Alright, we got the map for Limgrave. Good enough. Now I'm gonna get the tier and we're gonna get the hell out of here. <laughs> there it is. I think the green spill tier gives you stamina recovery. That'll be useful against Margit. Um, yeah, I guess we'll explore this roadway a little bit more and then we'll head back. If I remember right, this is where you find Blythe, like in these woods somewhere. I actually have no idea. What is this? Oh. Yeah, this path leads to a merchant. Hello. This guy says he's hungry, but he sells a shitload of meat. Like, you're sitting right next to a campfire, dude. If you're as hungry as you say, why don't you just cook your own damn food? Oh shit. Die, bitch. Alright. Well, um, I can't use the shield, unfortunately. I could use the axe, but I like the moveset of the longsword better. And then these two let me make ooh, that make that lets me make a pot item. That might be that might be good. Let's see if I can afford it. Yep. Sweet. And now I can make Oh. Throw out enemies to inflict fire damage, uh, holy damage, and these smaller ones. Oh, these are the ones you sling, I think. And these ones require, well, they all require cracked pots, I guess, but... Fetid pot, beast lure pot, there we go. Oh, lures beasts, okay. And that's like, an inflictment of toxic. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some of these cuz I'm curious to see how it works against um, Margaret probably not very well matter of fact it scales with sh oh it scales with strength okay that's interesting I mean again the scaling doesn't matter because my fucking damage is gonna be the same across of across the board with everything but Still, good to know. This is Kenneth Heights Fortress, I think. Isn't there a site of grace near it? Thought there was. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I never know, like, where the cutoff is between the fall damage and the between fall damage and just death I never know where the cutoff is I just want to touch the grace so I can respawn there but maybe I'll just clear out this fort r right quick because there's some stuff here ow It does help to have extra runes, too, I suppose. Oh, shit. That guy with the crossbow is very accurate. Oh, fuck. I forgot there was a pumpkin head here. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna backstab fish these fuckers. Pulling out your crossbow and I'm right in front of you. You ballsy motherfucker. I'm gonna drink my physic. Save my flasks. 
<laughs> Ow. I hate these pumpkin heads. Even in a regular fucking playthrough, these things are brutal. And now I'm stuck. Son of a bitch. I think there's a chance for them to drop their head. Which is actually decent armor for this early in the game. Um, so I'd like to get that. Ow. Mother... Motherfucker! You need one hit. Thank you. Jesus Christ. That's my drop. A fucking stone. Awesome. <sighs> Damn. Alright. Well, at least I'm gonna get a seed. Uh, thank you for teaching me how to use bows, game. Okay. Uh, I I wasn't being smart there. I kind of just tried to like brute force it, but I don't know. I mean, I can swing it at you with a sword. Like every enemy has hyper armor for some reason over here. No idea why. One neat little thing, I think, about this area, is that after you clear it, um, pretty sure the demi-humans move in. There, I killed the asshole. Got his coat, which I already have. Alright. I'm just gonna run past these guys, I think. I already killed you once. Oh god, please. I'm stuck! Ooh. No, where are my runes? I don't want to lose those. First and foremost. Alright. Now we're getting the hell out of here. So much for getting patches, right? <laughs> I guess I figured I could just come in here right quick and grab some items. I suppose I still can. I just gotta run past everything. Which probably won't end well for me. Oh, fuck. Getting surrounded. Enemies on all sides. I'm so fucked. Yeah, nice try, bitch. Oh god, I forgot about that guy. Alright, let's just... Yeah. <laughs> I know they can climb, but, um... I just want the loot. I'll figure out the rest later. Damn, this game could be scary. <laughs> you just see something climbing right behind you. Oh, the Deckness Medallion, right. Did he just use a fucking... Ooh! That's the weapon art that, like, puts blood on your weapon. Um... Might be able to kill him. If I can get another... Yeah, there we go. Sweet! I got the Ash of War, too. Totally forgot about that even existing, but, hey, there we go, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to around here, and then we're gonna go get patches for realsies this time. <laughs> There's another thing that's super cool about finding patches is that you can take a mimic chest not a mimic chest, uh, trap chest over to, what's it called, this region up here, 
I don't even remember what it's called. That's how fucking rusty I am. But, uh... You can take a trap chest up there, and it gives you, like, a really cool medallion starting out, starting out. I think we have to go through down here. Yeah. Alrighty. Careful not to aggro the dragon, because I'm not suicidal. Alright. I have no idea how I'm going to kill the invader. I guess I'll probably just let the NPC kill him, if I can. Where the fuck did you come from? Cool, they made undead enemies in this game. You have to hit them again after they go down. To put them down for good. Just want to make sure they're not going to fucking sneak up on me. Bastards. Motherfucker. Y'all keep fucking spawning out my ass. I don't know where you keep coming from, Jesus. At least I got a flask back. Damn. I'm not blocking that much because I don't really see a point. Oh god, killing this thing is going to be such a pain in the ass, too. <laughs> Swatting out a fucking fly in real life. It's terrible. Well, three flasks and a dream. See if I can do it. Oh. Alrighty. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a while, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely one of the best games I've ever played in my life. It's just amazing. Hello. You are definitely going to one-shot me. Oh, God. No. Just stay away. Buy time for the NPC to show up. Where did he spawn? Ow. Help! <laughs> Help me! I'm already out of flasks. Good. Now, while he's distracted. How did that not count as a backstab? This game fucking jipped the shit out of me. I'm gonna try to backstab him while my friend here does some chip damage. I need him to stop rolling. Oh, that was the backstab, but... I got no he got knocked out of the animation. There we go. Whew. This is how you beat him. You son of a... Can my phantom do that? I don't think he can. So that is unfair. I can't even do it. I'm out of fucking heals. Oh, thank God he can only do it once. All right. What the hell was that? He jumped into the air. Are you kidding me? You're actually kidding me, right? He fucking died right there. Oh, I got him. Oh. Oh my god. That was so close. Jesus. Alright. Now we can go to patches, which is what I wanted to do this whole time. 
We also got a really good weapon, early on anyway. Unfortunately, there's no shot we'll ever be able to use it, so... That is unfortunate. Um, yeah, let's just go hit that trap ch So fight patches, hit the trap chest, get some free stuff, and then... I'll upgrade my weapon. And then hopefully that should be enough to fight Margit, because... He can be a pain in the ass. How are you still alive? Alright. Yeah. It's a really cool game mechanic about this cave. Like, there's like trip wires that summon the enemies over with little bells. It's realistic. Well, not realistic. It's just, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Set up a trip wire to catch an enemy sneaking in pretty clever. Anyway. Yeah. Shadow of the Earth Tree is coming out soon. I can't wait for that. It's like Mesmer or whatever people are calling him. I don't remember even hearing that name being mentioned. I don't know where people got that name from, but maybe someone said it in the trailer. I don't know. Kind of hard to understand the narrator in the trailer because they're very like I have a very deep voice. Deep, gravelly voice. But, um... Some stuff. Yeah, shut up. I'm gonna kill you. JK, I'm not gonna kill him. Patches is a very useful NPC merchant. It would be foolish of me to kill him. The hell is that? Oh god, don't... I better not be, like, degrading my shit. I don't remember him having that ability. I sh suppose I shouldn't be surprised that Patches of all people would have that ability, though. Ow, holy shit. Alright. Fucking shielded spear like a coward. I'm gonna hide behind my big shield. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god, what? <laughs> I didn't know he could do that. Fuck. Usually when I play this game, I don't get to patches until, like, after I've beaten Margit. So by the time I do get here, I'm, like, fucking two-shotting him. He never has a chance to, like, kick my shield away or anything. So that, uh... Yeah, that was a first for me. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. Uh, round two, I guess. Fuck. I'll buff my sword real quick. Oh, I got him. Good. Oh, how was that not a parry, bro? I timed that just right. I thought I did. Damn. He's got moves. I really hope that doesn't break my shit. Oh, I, I can repost him there. I just keep forgetting that I can do that when I stagger him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get up, you bitch. <laughs> Gravel for mercy.
Pretty sure he has a good, um, good shop, too. I would like to use that. Yeah, forgive and forget. Who cares? Yeah, I think I have to leave and come back, and then he has his shop ready. <clears throat> All right, but that's cool. We got patches. Should have enough time to fight. Um, should also have enough time to fight Margaret this video. Let's see what I can do about that. I'm search for my perp for the reader. There is something I've acted. I am no. You are awesome, Melina, and you have a great uh, little storyline. But I have already... Played through this game a thousand times and know everything about you, so... Just gonna skip through all the dialogue. Sorry if anyone watching doesn't like that, but yeah. I am recording for the gameplay. Hopefully. Are they gonna back off or... Okay, good. Yeah, 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 shut up. Purchase. This is... I don't think any of those are useful, but... I don't know, maybe they are. His prices are outrageously expensive, too. Like, Jesus. Um, I need 1,500 more runes and I can buy Margaret Shackle. That item would be insanely useful um, if I could use that on market I'm gonna sell some of these weapons I'm never gonna use except for the unique stuff I don't want to sell that um, Obviously, because they're unique. But anyway, yeah, let's go here now. Maybe I can get some extra stuff from uh, this place. Well, well, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are gonna go get ourselves a free medallion. Because we can't... Oh. Well, this is not the mimic... Or, this isn't the trap chest that I thought it was. I think... Uh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> um, I'll just go ahead and peace on out of here. I got a tier 5 golden room. That might actually be enough to get me that shackle. Oh yeah, it doesn't let you <laughs> fast travel until you find a grace spot again. At least there's one over here. Shit. Well. We made it. Actually, what? Can I craft the... Oh, okay, I can. Good. Wanted to make sure... That wasn't something that I was going to be screwed on. Uh, in any case, we haven't found the round table yet, which is unfortunate. I think we have to go to m where Margaret is to unlock that, so... Yeah, I think we're going to head on over there now. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and do that. Probably get some extra seeds while we're on our way there too. Will come in handy. I'm gonna skip all this shit. Uh, the first time I played this game, I tried to clear out this whole area and it took me several hours because those troll dudes kept killing me. And, uh, 
Now oh, there's also like a million guys with crossbows. That didn't help either. <laughs> I learned to just not deal with that shit anymore. So, where's the gray spot? It's further up, isn't it? This is pretty funny, too. The wolves just fucking appear out of thin air. They drop right on top of you. Like, where did they drop from? There isn't a platform above us, so, like, literally, where did they come from? They just... They're sky wolves. Weird as shit. Also, uh, this chick is really useful uh, because she gives us one of the best ass summons for us early on. Yes, please give it to me. Thank you. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> but yes, that spirit jellyfish is going to draw aggro away from everything and also uh, possibly poison whatever bosses we're fighting so really glad I got that now that I've also gone to that gray spot actually no I don't want to go to that um, there's a jail over there that I'm pretty sure has a Crucible Knight, which I def definitely can't fight right now. I'm gonna wait till I have like a plus 10 weapon before I do that. Crucible Knights are brutal. Absolutely brutal. Alright. Got the Dung Beetle. Uh, run past everything. Ah, shit. Can they come in here? Oh, okay. Mammy bitch. Do it. No, not the shield bash. Damn. I almost got the timing on that down. There we go. <laughs> I think I know the timing on the slow, like, charge-up attack, but... Yeah. I wouldn't rely too much on my parry skills this playthrough because they are practically non-existent. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> just running on up. Um, yeah, they're practically non-existent, so I don't know... To what extent I will do any of that, but what does this do? Is it gonna bleed him or uh, coat your own blade in blood? So it's a wide arc. It's a wide arcing slash that inflicts blood damage. Okay. I think having the temporary strength buff would be better for Margit. It's a lot more simple. Anyway, like I said before in the beginning of my playthrough, I'm not going to summon any players or even any NPCs uh, to help me unless I... Um, unless I'm really struggling on the boss. So, yeah, I'm going to hold off on that. However, one thing I forgot to do is get the runes. Well, actually, I already have the runes. I'm pretty sure. I just need to go back to patches, get Margaret Shackle. Which, again, ordinarily I would not do. Um, because... 
ordinarily I don't have a problem with Margit because I level my vigor and everything else, but um, this time I can't do that, so I ought to get everything that I can to help me. Should probably also talk to Ronnie and get the Spirit Calling Bell too, so I can actually use my Ash Summon. Oh, you'll forgive me, huh? <laughs> Yeah, that's cute. Anyway. This should be enough. And if it isn't, then... Guess we're fucked. Oh, more than enough. Alright. Margaret Shackle. I'm gonna hot bar that. Just so we don't... Miss out on using it. And we'll go right back to Margaret. And hopefully I can beat her, or him, or it. And then that's where we could end off the video. Oh, hold on. I also forgot to get the fucking spirit calling bell. Uh, damn. Oh well. Ronnie! I can call on him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the bell and the useless wolves. Oh, the, the wolves draw aggro from the boss too, so... It's not too bad. I think now that I've... Spoken to Ronnie... Oh, I can strengthen my stuff here. Okay. I thought I had to wait till I got to the round table hold. But I guess not. Do you sell smithing stones by any chance? No? Cool. Um, this guy over here does. You know what? Fuck it. We got time left in the video. I'm doing it. Because... I do not want to be underprepared. For this boss. Who the hell are you? Hello? Oh. Guy that wants Kenneth Height to help him. <laughs> You're a ghost. So, don't think that's possible. I need to buy all three of these. And then, <laughs> I need to go back here. And then I can upgrade my sword one more time. But every upgrade counts. Um, because without it, I am just straight fucked. Alright, now we can give Margaret a shot. Unless Melina appears at this grace, then we'll get the round table hold. Nope, alright. I guess it's after Margaret then. Oh well. I should probably put an Ash Summon on here, too, now that I can do that. Um, my total FP in this playthrough is 78, so anything that costs more than that is just not going to be usable. Alright. We will try our best. He's gonna draw aggro. I'm gonna buff my weapon. Not that it matters. <laughs> I'm not doing that much more damage to him. It only lasts for like two seconds. Are you kidding me? I'm going to play this very slow and methodically. I do not need to get greedy. Oh god. He says as he gets greedy. Ooh. Go straight to hell, Margaret.
Oh my god, no way. Yes! I got the repost. Holy shit, I can't believe that worked. That attack is easy as fuck to dodge. So thank you for doing it. Ow. Oh yeah. Now that I can use Ash Summons, I should probably... have at least... oh god. <clears throat> now might be a good time to use the Shackle, but I kind of want to wait a little longer. Goodbye, Jellyfish. You served me well. Ooh! What? Bro. Go down. What the hell? Oh, is this one of them things where I can only use it in, like, the first phase or something? That is stupid. One thing I did notice is that my jellyfish poisoned him. Oh, God. I'm dead. What? Bro, his sword didn't even touch me on my screen. That was crazy. His sword, like, arced in front of me, but it missed me by, like, 20 inches. So I don't know how... That's a janky fucking hitbox, but alright. <laughs> um, yeah, so this works well. I just need to fucking... I guess use it earlier in the fight than I thought I did. Also, I think the wolves do a better job of, um... I think the wolves do a better job of, like, staggering him. Oh, hello. Forgive me. To see what hand, it seems torrent, whereas I am there is, but I can take gathering place. Very well. Okay. I guess... Dying to Margaret is what triggers it. <laughs> like, oh, the player might be having difficulty with the first boss. Let's take them to the hub that has all the free shit in it. I'm not struggling, I just only died once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy is the incantation dude. This is another one of my favorite characters in this game. Um, and the giant man that... I'm also a big fan of. This woman can go fuck herself. Um, I I know what you are, and I'm not getting hugged by you. Uh, you can go straight to hell. You're not lowering my HP. Yeah, that door stays shut. Down there, I need stone sword keys, so I think... Not a whole lot I can do. I mean, I could go fight the... NPC invader, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Don't know why I would want to do that, though. <laughs> what do you want? I like how you talk to him, and it's just, yeah, what do you want? <laughs> uh, and this... This is gonna be a good shop later. Um, the heater shield... Oh... 100% physical damage reduction, and I can equip it. So, yeah, definitely need to visit this guy later. For sure. Everything else is pretty much unavailable to me, though. Ah, well. At least I've discovered it. So now I can come back here whenever I want. Let's go give Margaret another shot, I guess. This time, I'll use the shackle sooner <laughs> in the fight. Maybe that's the trick. Alright. Let's do this thing. Really, bro? He used that attack at the beginning. Get poisoned. Yeah, go for my jellyfish boy. 
Thank you. Man, your reach is so stupid. Shouldn't have even hit me. I'm gonna do heavy attacks because that seems to trigger the stagger more often. Getting that repose damage it could be very useful. This is the part where I just spam damage on him. Alright. Doing alright so far. I just wanted to see if I could use it again. I guess not. Yeah, he's really fucking up Jellyfish Boy. Oh god! No, please! Ooh! That was close. <laughs> Get staggered, bitch. <clears throat> yes! Oh. If I lose this fight now, I should just fucking care uninstall my game. Can you draw aggro, Mr. Jellyfish? Thank you. That's all I needed. I need you to do your big hammer attack again. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh my god. What a fucking anticlimactic way to fucking kill a boss, man. Died of poison. <laughs> uh. That's funny. God. I already killed you, bro. Stop talking. Damn. Man, if I could level up right now, that'd be so awesome. I'd get 14 levels. That'd be cool as shit. Too bad it don't work like that. Anyway. Uh, for Godric, I imagine things will be a little more difficult, so what I'm probably going to do next time is come down here, maybe get the Bloodhound Fang, maybe do some more dungeons, uh, try and see if I can get more talismans or more resources, more gear, and, and then I should be able to stand a bit more of a snowball's chance in hell of fighting Godric. Or of, or of getting to Godric, because even getting to Godric can be a little bit annoying, too. But anyway, um, that's a good place to end it off, I think. We finally beat the first major boss of the game. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope it was fun. And I'll see you next time.